Hey guys, so I'm just gonna do a quick little follow-up video. So here's the solder prop from the last video. Um, and this is his new crucible, uh, graphite crucible I got in the mail yesterday. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to melt some aluminum here. This is a temperature meter, the thermocouple here. I got this little helping hand to kind of hold it in there for me. I'm just going to tuck it in between the insulation. So, let's, let's do it. There's a little power meter I added. So, right now, 40, about 40 volts, 7.6 amps. And if you guys were wondering uh, how I made this, this I just bought off of eBay, and this I bought off of eBay. So uh, I'll put links in the description where you can find this. There are, uh, it's called a ZVS driver, and you'd, be, you'd have a hard time sourcing the parts by themselves. I was initially going to design the circuit board myself, but uh, for $32, $33, $33, uh, it doesn't really get much better than that. Um, this is just an old fan that I had laying around. This I got off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for the little power meter too. Oh, uh, another thing about this, if you look, you can find uh, the ZBS driver that actually comes with the coil, which is, is really great. Um, I still like to make my own coils, but uh, this is really good for uh, case hardening and I'll do a video in the future about uh, how to case harden tools and uh, you know just little things you want uh, to harden. Oh another thing I added was so right here let's go ahead and just turn this off for a second. So this I have this switch that turns on the power supply so it turns on the ZVS driver. But I used uh, these little uh, bullet connectors like they use in uh, quadcopters, just kind of come together. And what I did is so I was kind of, I didn't like having to unscrew this terminal every time I wanted to use it. So all my attachments are gonna have bullet connectors. So it's nice, I took a, the female bullet connector and I actually just soldered it inside of a small piece of copper tubing. So I could just, uh, you know, plug and unplug my different attachments. So, so the solder prod here, all I did was solder the wire into a piece of copper tubing. But I'll add a, a male bullet connector to that. There it is. Turn this back on. And this is actually. Uh, low power right now. Um, I can adjust the, the power with this potentiometer over here on the power supply. Pushing this power supply up too much um, until I get I ordered some more of these uh, these MOSFETs. If anything's going to go bad here, it's generally going to be the MOSFET. So, uh, but they're fairly cool. So, all right, so we're we're getting up to heat now. Fifty. 
If it'll melt now. Let's just go ahead and put some pieces in there. Turn this back down. I don't need it up so much, you know. And the fan here is just actually to keep the cool the coils nice and cool to the touch. Seven hundred degrees here. Celsius. Fahrenheit. on here. blanket here so I don't burn my table Didn't burn through. Okay, I need uh, 20 minutes 
minutes after the power's been cut off. Uh, 470. Mm -hmm. Subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.